This is the Game 9 press conference featuring the UCLA Bruins. We're joined by head coach Kelly Enoy Perez and student athletes Holly Azevedo and Maya Brady. Questions for our student athletes to start, please. Go ahead in front. Troy Hutchison, BruinBlitz.com. Uh, Holly, can you talk about getting the start today? Uh, I believe your first start in the Women's College World Series and what that experience was like. Um, it was really incredible, honestly. Um, I couldn't do it without the people behind me. Our defense was really, really um, on point today. And obviously, we had a really good outing with um, offense. So super blessed, and it's a really cool win. Two, Kenny. My to have a pitcher like Holly, but also to have a staff like that also has Megan, like what does that do for you as a, a teammate on this uh, team? Yeah, um, I mean, I definitely feel for the hitters because we <laughs> hit off them in practice and throughout the entire fall. So um, going into the season, I knew we were gonna have a great staff. Um, obviously losing a pitcher like Rachel, you know, I think everyone thought that, you know, what is UCLA gonna do? But little did they know that we have Holly Azevedo and Lauren Shaw and Megan Framo. So I'm just super proud to play on a team with these pitchers because I know that they're fighting. And um, it gives you confidence as a hitter when, you know, that's a great offensive team. And when you have a pitcher like Holly shut them down as hitters, that kind of pumps you up. So it was just a really cool uh, game to see Holly kind of do her thing and shine on the biggest stage. Jordan? Holly, with this win today, um, being a fifth-year senior, this obviously means one more chance to get to put on your jersey and play for UCLA. What does that mean to you? Um, it means everything. I mean, I've spent my last five years um, with these girls, these coaches, with the university, um, and just to have the opportunity to go to a school like UCLA with academics and athletics, um, it's been truly an honor. Um, yeah, with girls next to me, both Coach I and Maya and everyone else, it's just been really cool to experience all the different diversity and have um, just have like these really cool friendships and relationships with everyone. Yeah. Dean Rule with the Oklahoma for both student athletes. Uh, you now get your chance tomorrow. You're going to play OU, the team that knocked you out last year. I think Holly, you closed that game out last year, if I remember correctly. Uh, so you guys get that chance. What with a win like today, how do you carry that confidence over? Start with Maya, please. Um, obviously, they're an incredible team um, all around. But I think for us, something that I think that this team has really gone through this year would be adversity. And I think that it's only made us stronger. And it's really made us look within. So our coach talks about it a lot. And, um, you know, don't even worry about the opponent. But, you know, you want to make the opponent study you. And I think that's something that this team is really good at, is focusing on each other. Um, we've had to look to each other all year. So um, obviously, we know it's going to be a tough game. But we're going to take it one pitch at a time. Um, and I know that I have. 23 sisters that are going to have my back throughout the whole game, and I'm not doing it alone. So I think that it's just a really amazing opportunity on uh, the biggest stage to be with this team. So I'm really excited. Holly? She, she said it all. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> she said it all. I can't even comment. Like, that's exactly how I feel. So, yeah. no, seriously, that was, that was really good. <laughs> Anything else for our student athletes down here in front? Maya, can you just talk about that fourth inning? You guys put on that early run, and then in that fourth inning, I believe you scored four runs to extend the lead. What went into that? What adjustments did you guys make in the plate? Um, I think that uh, we just, you know, decided that we weren't going to let the changeup be a factor anymore. Um, I think our team does a really good job of getting stronger throughout the game. So that first run by Kelly was huge for us. Um, but we were fighting the whole game. Um, it was just a matter of time. Um, our team definitely gets stronger throughout every single at bat and we kind of all take things from each other so just watching the other at bats of my teammates because I think everyone had great at bats throughout the whole game um, we were kind of able to jump on it and you know things in softball you gotta have a little bit of luck and things started to fall so it was it was a really huge inning for us two K Holly, what were your just emotions at the end of the game? I think your uh, teammates dumped a little bit of water on you just to, just to share that moment with them. <laughs> yeah, it was it was pretty cold. Um, <laughs> um, no, the emotions at the end of the game were crazy. I mean, when Savvy got that 
double, I believe. I was going crazy alongside all the, the girls in the dugout. Um, and then just having the, that moment where everyone was dumping water on me. I mean, yeah, it was crazy. So it was, yeah, definitely a cool moment. Literally a cool moment. Yeah. <laughs> Iced moment. <laughs> All right, Holly, Maya, thank you very much Great for your job. time. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Questions for Coach, please. Good job. We'll see. Troy. Uh, Coach Kelly, when Holly was talking there, I could see you were lighting up and just smiling, seeing oh. that your fifth year senior is getting this opportunity. What does it mean to you to ever have a game like that? You know, I've said this um, from the start. You know, I think there, she's so selfless. You know, to be able to be behind Megan and Rachel for her entire career and to come back, to choose to come back and into the master's program to be able to give back. I am so proud. She's a hard worker. She is very talented, um, but she's selfless. To be able to come back and do this for her team says a lot. And, you know, COVID was a, a negative thing for a lot of people, but it allowed the opportunity for players that missed that season to be able to come back. And, and I'm grateful because, you know, Literally, Kinsey Washington and Bree Perez and Holly are back here to be able to give back to the program. But moments like this, I, we have been waiting for this since she hasn't had that opportunity on this stage. So I couldn't be more proud and, and happy for her and for us that she pitched her game today. Jordan. Uh, Coach, something you've said all season is that defense wins games. And I feel like that was on full display today with the Huge. defense earning 16 of the 18 outs. Um, how do you feel about the way your team stood by and Holly? Literally, um, and I think we know that, you know, Megan's a different type of a pitcher. You know, she throws hard and high and, and obviously can throw down as well. But, you know, with Holly, we say that, you know, so I said before the game it was about defense and we talked about moving your feet and being able to, it, 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 that was the name of the game was defense today. Um, so super proud. And I said from last year, you know, we did not execute well on the stage um, last year defensively. And that was a focus from fall of 2000, you know, fall of 21, um, that at this point in the game, it really comes down to defense. And the timely hits will come. Today was an amazing offensive display, but it's really about defense is what won us the ball game today. Uh, Ryan Kellop here from Pac12.com. Um, Holly's been solid throughout her career, but this year it seems like she's really taken her game to another level. What would you attribute that to? You know, um, I give Lisa Fernandez um, a ton of credit. She really prepares these pitchers uh, mentally, physically. You know, they have this thing called Champ Camp where they actually go through a full workout, um, and it's a grinding, challenging physical workout before they pitch. So, we, you know, and the whole talk is when we get to Oklahoma, it's going to be hot, and you've got to be able to compete under those circumstances, or we may be in a position where you have to play extra games. So there is that, the mental side. And then the physical part of it, you know, if you could come to our practice and see the energy in the bullpen and the work ethic, and it's not just the pitchers and the starting catchers, but we have bullpen catchers that also are fully vested. And there's a whole process that goes into play. So they prepare for this moment. That This language of being your best when your best is needed at the World Series started in fall. And I'm, I, I'm so proud because they're very close. They work very hard. They're physically, mentally prepared to be able to execute their game. You know, and, and I think the rest is, is just an athlete experience. I'm so proud for Holly to be able to just do what Holly does. Coach, we have a question on Zoom from Eric Lopez. Coach, obviously the UCLA has done so many firsts. Today's another first. You were on ABC for oh, the first time. Yeah. What does that mean for you, the program, and the sport? Huge. Um, like I said, I, you know, being able to have the coverage of softball at this level, it just speaks volumes to where the sport is going. Um, you know, we get to get in the living rooms at, you know, what we have in our own conferences, we have televised games, but what ESPN does, uh, has done to be able to literally um, allow everyone to see the whole road. But today's a big day, right? To be able to have more than just those ESPN followers, be able to see our sport. And my hope is that they can fall in love with it and continue to follow it. Um, I want it to be an Olympic sport. So this is a great opportunity in a, to showcase how exciting the game can be. Offense, defense, pitching, um, just some big moments. Um, but big for the sport, great for the growth, more young um, little athletes that have role models that might fall in love with the sport and hope that they can play it and have a dream one day to be on the stage and play um, just like these girls did today. Obviously, the, your pitching is the strength of your team, and now you'll be going up against an Oklahoma team known for their offense. So what, what do you think the keys will be for your staff? You know, the whole message here at the World Series is it's really about us. And, you know, like what Maya was saying, you know, it's the biggest opponent that we have is ourselves. 
in day one to be in the situation that we're in is we, did, we, we beat ourselves. We did not play great ball. We, we, weren't, we weren't out here. But I told them we also get the opportunity to play more games. And we're going to turn it into a positive because if we can put ourselves in a position to play our game, the, the opponent you know, that is definitely respect. We respect everyone. We fear no one. So we've got to be able to come out and play our game at the end of the day. And I think if we do that, then it'll be a great day of softball. And that's, that's all that we're focusing on right now. And I guess just um, for, your, for your team offensively, it seemed like to, everyone was just grinding out at bats. So what, yeah. what did you like about your approach? Well, I think, you know, literally there, was, there were moments, you know, one of the hardest things to do, and it's so easy to say and to be able to watch, to be able to be patient and be able to sit back on change. And on, you can, everyone's watching it and saying, oh, my God, they're swinging at balls or they're so aggressive. But to be on the stage with a sense of urgency and be able to slow the game down, it, it takes a lot of experience. It takes a lot of trust. It takes a lot of, of, of practicing that process of being able to let balls get deeper and, and, and swing at strikes. I mean, that's the name of the game. So we were a little overly aggressive at one point and kind of came together and took some deep breaths to be able to say, you know what? If you, and I told the girls straight up, I'm like, you want to win this game? we've got to be able to dial in and be better at swinging at strikes and letting the ball travel. So um, they did a great job of making an adjustment, but it, it is a credit to them and their commitment and will to win because, you know, those Florida pitchers were throwing some nasty stuff and the strike zone started to be a little different than, you know, it, it was just a little different. So we had to make an adjustment. Super proud. Anything else for Coach? Coach, okay. thank you very yeah, much for your you. time. Congratulations. Thank you.